too long. So I cut off five. And don't be afraid to trim the lashes if you feel they're too long. Also, on the inside part of lashes, sometimes there's a little bit of a tip. Cut that part off too. You don't want anything on there that additional that you don't need. We don't want any extra lash luggage, so to speak. So now we're going to take our lash and guess what? I also have black eyelash glue, the Eve Pro black eyelash glue. And what does that mean by black eyelash glue is, you see when this thing comes out, the glue, it's gray when it's wet and when it dries, it dries matte black. So basically I'm applying a very, very thin coat to the base of the lash, just a thin coat, and you give it, you know, about 10, 15 seconds, taking my tweezer, holding the tweezer on the inside part of the lashes, and the outside part of the lashes, I'm holding it with my own fingers, and I'm going to go close to the lash line as possible, just close your eyes for a second, and I'm going to position it as close to the lash line from the outside to the inside and basically place these lashes as close to the lash line as possible. And as soon as you have contact placement, you ask the person gently, could you open your eyes halfway, please? Open your eyes a little bit, a little bit more, a little bit more, just to make sure that you have not glued their eyes shut, because sometimes you will. Close, and if that should happen, do not panic, do not panic, just pull there, pull it apart. and. Again, you want to position the lashes. Now, while they're drying, this is the EPRL method. And when you do this, you got to say, even if it's in your head, this is the EPRL method. The outside part, you're going to flip up of the lashes, and the inside part, the part closer to the nose, you're going to push it down. All the while, pushing it towards the lash, and make sure this is on the skin and not on the lash. As close to the lash line as possible, but on the skin and you're just going to flip it up and flip it up, pushing it towards the skin. So open your eye for a second. And the reason we do this is because, see, this part down here, it's going to look natural when it's lower, and the outside part's going to go up. And when we attach Jill's real lashes to these fake lashes, it's going to look amazing. We do the same thing with the other side. We're going to take our, our lash container. We're going to pull it out from the outside. And now that we already know what we cut from the other lashes, we're going to cut the inside little tip. And we're going to cut off four or five from the other side. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Cut that off. All right? take the lash. I already have the glue out on this. So I'm just going to put the glue. And people ask, well, should I use individuals because they might look more natural? Or what should I do? Should I use? A strip, I prefer using a strip because if you put a strip on the right way, it actually ends up looking much more natural than the individuals. Because when you put the individuals on, you have one long one, one short one, one long one, one short one. So it actually really ends up looking uh, not that natural. So, and also, do not be afraid if you ever want to trim these, to take a scissor. And just to show you, you can always just take a scissor and just trim the inner inner part. Okay, do not be afraid. You are in control of the lashes, not the lashes in control of you. You know, as makeup artists, you know, we like our little control. Close. And we basically place them from the outside. We place it down and we take it all the way in. Once we have our positioning and we have placement, we ask can you open your eyes, please? Good. You see, and actually, there's a little bit extra glue here, and it would have stuck to her eyes if I let her keep her eyes closed too long. So it might stick, but again, do not be scared. Do not say in front of a person you're doing makeup on, oh my god, or, you know, holy shh. Don't say any of that. Just pretend like nothing is wrong, and pick up and adjust the lash, you know, or pull their eyes apart. Just be sure to be calm. If you stay calm, they'll stay calm. If you start panicking, they're going to panic. So do not panic. Open your eyes. You see it's going to stick a little bit more. And just wipe it. And close again. So just keep pushing down on the lash here. And up here on the outside part of the lash, just try to gently have it flow up. And while that dries, and you can open your eyes now, and it's going to look weird and it's going to feel odd to the 